Okay, here's a t-shirt I've just made for the eBody Reborn. I made it with um, cloth collision. But apologies, a bit stretched over the boobies, but um, it's it's fine. It'll do. I could read to apologise, but I'm not going to for this. Right, so first of all, we're going to bind it. We'll go to binding and skinning. Now let's uh, apply all transforms first. So Control A, all transforms. And I will start binding and skinning. Select the T-shirt. Shift select the bones. Change anything that's here to copy from meshes. And then we're going to tick just below that, tick the body, eborn, and then bind to armature. And now we can go to pose and animate workflow and check the movement. So I'm just going to click RR. which means it can rotate in all directions. Now you can see that there's some weirdness under the arms and that's often the way with the A-posed characters. Now I'm going to turn off limits, these curve things, because they're getting, getting in my view. So. Get rid of those. So that would be in rig display limits. Okay, so we're going to look at the arms now, underarms. So lift the shoulder and look at it in edit mode. Not the bones, the, the actual mesh, so I'm going to undo that. Make sure that only the mesh is selected. Ah, I know what it is. Right, untick, go to the top, edit and untick lock object modes. Now you'll be able to select the mesh. And go to edit mode. And you can see all this stretching under the arms here. So what we'll do is select that area and a little bit beyond. So I'm holding down control, right click and draw a circle just a bit bigger than the actual messed up part. Don't need all that. And now, while it's posed like this, mesh weights smooth. And then you come down here and you, ch you turn off active group. You make that deform pose bones. And then the iterations here, you move that, that's a slider. So you can either type in a number, but it's it's easier to watch it as it happens. So move this slider to the right until that smooths out. And we've got about 41 there. And that should be deformed correctly now. But first of all, we've got to select the whole mesh. and go back to mesh weights and we're going to limit total because we can only have four weights per vertex let's limit all those and we're going to normalize all so mesh weights again 
normalize all untick lock active and that should be done let's have a look alt r i keep going into edit mode on the bones i don't mean to do that post mode that's lovely if you wanted to you could add thickness to the edges so we'll go back into edit mode select the bottom edge and press ctrl f solidify faces thickness point zero 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 three Now you've got this um, burning showing here until we get rid of the bridging loop. So to do that you go into uh, what do you call this? X-ray mode. Scroll right in. And in and in and in. Go into face select. Alt left click. And then Next, delete. Faces. And that looks okay. Now you might think, well, it's still got odd shading. So what you can do is go into Object Data, scroll down to normals tick auto smooth and that looks okay and that's ready to export but you can do the neck and sleeves as well if you want to like the waist and when that's all done we'll export it so file export of a star DAE out of date reference mesh well that's because we altered the mesh in edit after we bound so to correct that we go to binding and skinning again and then update binding now I like these ticked on all the time so you don't have to worry about it but this is where you do it now it will export so I'm just going to go select all and alt r to get it correct that file export and that's done